Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome to Paradigm. This is a point and click adventure game that recently came out and it looks very interesting. <laughs> like, that's the best way I can think of to describe it. Like, not gonna lie, I think it looks really weird, but I don't feel like I should judge it just based off of like the one Steam trailer that I saw of it. Um, but basically, some people have been suggesting that I try this game. And my brother played it recently, so I asked him about it, and he said that it is a very interesting game and it's really, really funny. But it's funny because of a lot of the references that they make, which is where I'm kind of at a disadvantage because I'm not very much into pop culture. I don't watch a lot of movies. I don't watch TV. I basically watch, like, YouTube and occasionally Netflix for, like, different comedian skits and stuff like that. Like, I'm not... I don't watch Stranger Things, I don't watch Game of Thrones, I don't keep up with a lot of shows and stuff like that, and I don't keep up with movies. I don't think I've been to a movie theater in like three years. Um, so that's why I was a bit hesitant to play it, because a lot of these references, you guys are probably going to laugh and be like, oh, I totally get it! I totally get what they're saying! And I'm just going to be like, okay, cool, and moving on. Like, I'm not going to have any sort of reaction to it, probably. Um, but I still think, like, the game is worth a shot, because like I said, my my brother, he usually, he has a very good sense of games. He has a very good taste in games. So if he says it's good, I trust his knowledge and his logic, and I figured we could give it a go. So let's start a new game. Choose your difficulty. Oh god, how did this open? I just wanted to play Solitaire. I have no, I have no idea what an adventure game even is. For the experienced adventure gamer, I would like to pick this one, but I think we should probably go with normal, because I... Again, I want to make sure we get this done in a timely manner, and I don't want to be spending all day on it. So, we're going to go in the middle. We're going to take the middle road. Enables hotspot toggle system and cutie tumor chats. I don't... Okay. You've played games before, but haven't really delved much into adventure games, or have very little experience with it. You'd like to try it out, though. It's alright, friend. I got you. You've played a few point-and-click adventure games in your time. Three-headed monkeys and punny deaths are something you hold dear. <laughs> Besides, who needs stupid words to help you do stuff? Hint systems are for plebs. <laughs> oh, I really want to do that one. No, we'll do normal. Because, like I said, I want to get this done quickly and efficiently. And, I, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do a full playthrough anyways. I'll probably be a couple episodes and then I'll be done with it, so. I do like the, like... VHS feel to it. This is an archived information infomercial. Okay. Y'all can read the rest yourself. Is your child a failure? Have they wasted years of their life acquiring an arts degree? <laughs> Do you make it rain on a regular basis? Only to spend it on your child's expensive taste in <laughs> bullshit coffee? Is your child just an asshole? <laughs> These are questions we ask every day. Here at Dupa Genetics, we have the solution. Prodigy Child, the fully customizable child of your dreams. Oh, God. The process is very simple. We gather your broken dreams. We combine it with our cutting-edge genetic sequencing technology. And finally, our secret sauce. And then, your prodigy child is born. Don't leave your child's success to chance. They can be a prodigy child in anything, such as... Scientist, bodybuilder, <laughs> wizard, and... Cat. You know what to do. Do you really want to risk the embarrassment? Buy a prodigy child today. You won't regret it. What the fuck? Oh, hey. <laughs> Time to put on some beatsies. What the hell? I mean, that explains the fetus at the beginning of the game, but what the heck? Oh, he has a creepy smile. Ugh. I am so bored. I should probably make progress in my EP and make some beats on the computer. 
and not procrastinate, which would inevitably lead me to reevaluating my life decisions and quitting silently. <gasps> That's great. I've completely forgotten how to exist. That's me on a daily basis, dude. Don't worry. Paradigm, have you forgotten how to function as a mutant human being again? Would you like a tutorial? Uh, sure. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, it's funny, but like, at the same time, what the fuck? Also, did they do like a promo for this game? Did they do like a, what am I, I can't even think of the word right now. Did they do a demo for the game? Because this scene, in particular, looks super freaking familiar. I think I've played this before. Like, I feel like I've seen this before. Like, I don't keep track of all the games I've ever played on, like, Itch.io and Game Jolt and stuff. But this looks super freaking familiar, and I feel like I've been in this place before. I don't know, it's like an uncanny valley deja vu kind of feel. Anyways, yes, please, tutorial. Yes, I feel like this is something I shouldn't forget. Thank God you exist. I could never afford a real doctor. <laughs> Would you like a regular doctor or a live action doctor? You can actually hear what he's saying, kinda. Dog, obviously. Doggo. Doggo all the way. I don't care about anything else in life, just the dog. Definitely dog tutorial. How to play Paradigm with Sam. <gasps> oh, sweet puffer! Look at him! I have no idea what I'm doing, Doggo. Aw, that was a tutorial. <laughs> 10 out of 10, would dog again. Oh, that's the best tutorial I've ever had. And it was an old Doggo. Oh my gosh, I love old Doggos. I'm a little biased though, because I have an old dog, so maybe that's why. Aw, can we watch it again? <laughs> oh, I want to, but I'm not going to waste time. Uh, regular tutorial now, I guess. I love how they were like, anyways, yeah, you want the regular after after you watch the doggo tutorial, but nothing will ever top that. Hello, uh, Hello I am Tumor. I will be your guide. Right click, right -click on, on objects, objects to interact. interact. Okay. Left click to activate an interaction. Touch the top right corner to activate your Tumor sense to see what objects... Okay. Actually, and help... Touching me sensitively will trigger small talk and other helpful advice from myself. I don't want to. Generally, I just... Okay, sicko, gross, grody, stop. I'm gonna vomit. Touch the top screen of the menu to access... Or touch the top of the screen to access the slide-out menu. I'm trying to read quickly and it's not working. I didn't do that. It doesn't seem to be working. Just like the fashion combo of socks, sandals, and fanny bags. Unless you're a 40 year old man whose jokes only consist of puns. I should talk to John. He will probably know how to fix it. Okay. Well, we kind of need to plug him in first. Uh. Use? I need some sort of adapter first. It's one hell of a plug. Yeah. <laughs> um. I kind of want to look at these. Let's figure out this first. Then we'll do for round. Pick up. This could be useful. I'll put it into my inventory. Your inventory? If only people could adapt like this adapter. Robot human marriage wouldn't be such a big issue. Ugh. Oh jeez. I've forgotten how to use my pockets again. Okay, so many options, so little time. Oh, okay. I mean, you did it for me, so I guess that works. Cool. Um. So. Oh shit, what did I do? Uh, hey, Brosefino. <laughs> Real talk, mind using your vague intuition to help us out? Do you sometimes wish you had your own body? Any new theories about where we came from? Why did it take so long for you to talk to me? I really wish you were more of a wisecracking sidekick. When did you realize you were conscious? Um... 
see you tumor with slightly better than average intuition about everything. Um, any new theories about where we came from? Get super deep. First question. Here we go. Any new theories about where we came from? So we know that you're not a fuck. So we do a radio after that. I a Danish minute making foot. Fingers crossed. You're the sole or sole sort of intergalactic god early race. Then we don't have to worry about the red anymore. But yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay. Um. Why did it take so long for you to talk to me? Why don't. Do you not feel comfortable talking to me? Because I want to make sure we have an open relay for communication. Like, communication is key. Why did it take so long for you to talk to me? I really wish you were more of a wise cracking sidekick. Comic relief from my crippling self esteem issues. Aww. I'm more of a digital Buddha type. But instead of having a large belly, I'm a large puff of flesh. So free to run my fishy growth for good luck. And now I think I'm good. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm all lucked out. I got a four leaf clover somewhere, so it's all good. I'm sure maybe somewhere. Um. Do you sometimes wish you had your own body? Do you sometimes wish you had your own body? Mainly I just wish I didn't show your vision and hearing. You think way too many very special bricks, brother. <laughs> it's a part of my curator process. <laughs> Never doubt my curator process. Are we in Russia out of curiosity? Because he kind of has like a slight Russian accent. I don't know. Anyways, um, when did you realize you were conscious? When did you realize you were conscious? Don't really remember. Or just remember I had uh, some sort of guide for you. Especially when you were young, all you wanted to do is drink bleach. <gasps> Stupid baby. Window cleaner <laughs> is where all the nutrition and vitamins are. Window cleaner? <laughs> what? Okay, I, we're gonna go. See you, Tumor, with slightly better than average intuition about everything. Goodbye. Okay, that happened. I, I don't know what to think anymore. I just want this. So we can put it on that. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to put it on. No? There we go. It worked. Oh, Mike, what do you unplug me for? You know why. <laughs> yeah. What? Okay, I guess that's the end of the conversation. They have a tutorial button. Okay, let's look at these. Uh, look at. One part of my record collection. I bought it for 10 euros from a talking dog. I think he hustled me. Before I knew it, I was rubbing his belly and playing catch. That is the best hustle I have ever heard. <laughs> I would gladly get hustled if it meant I got to play with an, a cute little doggo. Anyways. Get rich or die of natural causes. Babe, I love you, but I'm a T-Rex. Sean Sensual Steen, a guide for companionship for the futuristic lover. Gross. He looks like, oh, wait, no. Oh, I can't move. I can't move the hand, otherwise it moves to a different uh, record. But he looks like that dude from Her, that movie. I don't know if they did that on purpose. Emoticons and friend zones. Pluto, if only I was still a planet. <laughs> I used to say that all the time because like my parents will be like, back in my day, we didn't have these confangled computers. Or like my grandfather would be like, back in my day, we had to walk five miles to go to the, the soda pop fountain. And I'm just like, back in my day, Pluto was a planet. I got one too. What do you think of that? And they're just like, oh God. <laughs> if you were a square, I'd love all four sides. Aw, Dave Ghibli. I love the last name. Or Ghibli, I don't know. It's just like Studio Ghibli. Studio Ghibli. Either way, I'm insulting someone. <laughs> um, computer? Can we look at the computer? That's where I make my sweet ass discotheca beats. I also use it to look at kids on the internet and slowly waste away my life. You know, Paradigm, you're really relatable. They did a really good job on that. Can we, can we go into that room? The red room? The red room of pain and torture, I'm guessing? No? Aww. But I like pain and torture. My safe word is avocados. Um, <laughs> this game is even making me say weird things. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm sorry in advance for anything that comes out of my mouth. Let's talk to John. 
Uh, why isn't the computer booting? I want to make some fat ass beatsies. Hey dude, your Hal, do your high, Hal 9000 impression. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I really like what you did to your face. What's different? Do you ever miss the days when you were a matchmaking robot or I have to go return some videotapes? I just, I love this dude's face. <laughs> At first it took a while to get used to, but he's like a Bratz doll or like a permanent Snapchat filter. He has no nose. It's just, I don't know. It's weird. I wish I could ask him if he like ever wonders what it's like to smell things and taste things. Cause like smell is a huge part of everything that you taste. But anyways, um... Do your Hell 9000 impression. Hey dude, do your Hell 9000 impression. Open the pod bay doors, Hell. Dave, you're a drongo. You know I can't let you do that. That's just stupid. Okay. I feel personally offended. Because I don't know what a drongo is, but it sounds really offensive. <laughs> um... I really like what you did to your face, so it's different. Why isn't the com- Let's save that one for last, because, like, that's obviously our objective. I kind of just want to talk to him. Do you ever miss the days when you were a matchmaking robot? Do you ever miss the days when you were just a matchmaking robot? Oh, a little, mate. Although the show was pretty terrible, post-apocalyptic Australia wasn't very pretty. So you are Australian. Okay. I didn't want to make any assumptions. You never know. Um, I really like what you did to your face. I really like what you did to your face. What's different? Well, originally, it was a picture of a big phallic object with a smiley face on it. I'll have you to <laughs> I mean, it's a party classic. Uh, did you... Did you... Eat too much data? I don't know. What, what would be the equivalent of drinking for computers? I don't know. Um, anyways, why isn't the computer booting? Why isn't the computer booting? I want to make some fetus beaties. My... With some of the filth I've seen in your internet history, I'm not surprised. It makes me contemplate if I want to be a part of this world. Then I'll think about all the shit that's be gutted, and then I change my mind. Okay, sure. All the poor, poor Sheila's, like, I don't know, the voice recorders, or what are they called? <laughs> the inbox message systems. Uh, wouldn't it be, or wouldn't it be unfortunate if I just tripped and unplugged you again? Real talk, why isn't it working? Don't make me donate you to the SSOPC guild. Don't make me donate you to the SSOPC guild. Please, anything, but not the senile seniors operating personal computers. <laughs> I had bigger dreams than being used to play solitaire and send money to Nigerian princes. What? <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> Real talk, why isn't it working? Real talk. Why isn't it working? Mate, the operating system is bugged. Some, uh, bloody hacker bloke mess with your system files. You're gonna need a wipe and reinstall it using the recovery floppy disk. Can't I just turn it off and turn it back on again? Oh, story of my life. Where can I find the recovery floppy disk? Where can I find the recovery floppy disk? Alright, I'll search with my little Google here and check it out. That's weird. It only tells me where to find sexy singles in my area. <laughs> One little weird secret to get ripped. I always wondered what I'd look like with a six pack. Okay. Just. Oh, this game. <laughs> I don't know what to think of it. Uh, it's a conundrum. It's its own entity. I don't know what to think. Uh, can you please, for fuck's sake, just tell me where to get the floppy disk? Just tell me where to get it. Alright, mate. I'll tell ya. But first, I need your help. I've got at least 10 chat rooms and two internet dating sites to frequent tonight, and I need you to get me in the zone. How am I supposed to do that? I'm a little bit hurt you don't remember anymore. Ever since I had to roll back to version 2.1, you can't even look in my eyes, George. No. We've already discussed this. You don't even have eyes. Seriously, what do you want? Use your imagination, mate. I need to maximize my sex appeal potential. One ton of copper wiring doesn't exactly swoon potential partners. Except for Sweaty Salvage Men. And I'll tell you what, mate. I don't want any news from Sweaty Salvage Men tonight unless they look like sexy, sweaty ladies. Figure something out. Gross. I just want to finish my new EP. By the way, if you don't fix the computer soon, the power plant will melt down and everyone will be dead. Or become seriously maimed, living their life in constant agony. Cheers, mate. There must be something in this room I can give him. Okay, no pressure. Um... 
What is that? Dupe organizer? Look at. I know what we're supposed to do, but I kind of just want to look around. It's a dupe organizer. Sort of like a personal digital diary. Compulsory to all citizens of Krush. The organizer, if you tell anyone who my high school crush was, I'll forget to take you out to my pocket next laundry run. Paradigm, occupation unemployed. Dear diary, I'm not sure if you know this, but god damn I love sleeping so much. If sleep were a person, I would orchestrate an elaborate public proposal in front of millions of people only for sleep to reject me on the spot. The online video would have millions of views, thus I'd make bank on ad money, profiting on my pure sadness and rejection. Anyways, I think that was an analogy for waking up, I think. Ah, oh, Paradigm, I feel you. I feel the exact same way about sleep. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to share. Uh, life tips? You have a tough decision. Просто подышите в пакет. Головокружение откроет вам новые кризисы. <laughs> I was gonna say I really wish that my phone had this kind of button, but I mean if that's the life tips is gonna offer, it doesn't feel that uh it doesn't feel that worth it. Can can we pick it up? I prefer to leave my super secret personal diary full of personal secrets out in the security of open spaces. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Um but you hide all your nudie mags probably under the mattress, right? Because we don't need anyone to find that. Um, okay, fine. Let's let's get John in the mood here. Really wish that was a sentence I didn't have to say, but it's where I'm at in life. Um, news. Um, no, no, maybe, no. If you were square, I'd love... All four sides? Oh, probably this one, right? Yeah. Can we pick up? This could get John in the mood. Uh-huh. My thoughts exactly. So, inventory. Where do I put it in the computer? I don't think that needs the smooth tunes of Sean Centralstein. Oh, it's Centralstein. I'm sorry. I was saying that wrong the entire time. Um well, where do I put it in? Do I put it in John? Again, a sentence I never thought I would ever say in my life. Why? You know your tunes, Paradigm? Gonna slice so many secrets in life. God. Anyway, you can find the floppy disk from a villain named Space Cadet. That local drug addict guy. Ask Doug outside for some directory duties if you can't remember. Directory duties? Directions? That's what I'll say. <laughs> well, <laughs> we have to go save the world, I guess. By the tone of your voice, you clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation. Uh, I absolutely do. It's just I'm a total pro at these adventure games, these point-and-click adventure games. Got nothing to worry about. Uh, yeah, I understand. We need the floppy to swap bodies and have wacky adventures experiencing life from each other's perspectives. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea, dude. Or, hey, do you ever think about what it would be like if we communicated by touching our butts together? I gotta, I gotta know. Hey, do you ever think about what it would be like if we communicated by touching our butts together? Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. I figured you wouldn't understand, so I prepared this paper mache earth for your benefit earlier. Ah, that's really good. Wow, you've really improved on your paper mache craft skills. Great work, John. Cheers, mate. I really appreciate your support of my hobby over the years. Anyway. Say, Kobza, Comps. all the world's radioactive waste is stored under Krush. There is enough radioactive waste under this station for complete annihilation. As you probably know, Krush is world number one in the Brahmin economy. Now, pay attention to that red dot. That's us. Okay. The next day, you sent another message to your honey. Uh, was he saying something? Oh no, that's Sean in the background. Neat, nice, cowabungu, cool wowers. That sure is neat, mister. God, they have so many options for this one. Awesome, fire makes me want to commit senseless arsony. That sure was a f fandangled dazzler. Noise. Jeez, wheezy. Good freaking lord. Okay, there we go. 
Dope. God, they have so many- placeholder. Insert emotion of delight here. Just placeholder. Placeholder. That's the basic gist of the CISO. If you don't get that floppy. Except for one, you can fall out. Mutations. People died in agony. Pine. Suffering. And lots of brutal on screaming. Isolate humans have like, uh, two years to extension if this goes down. Oh, right. I should probably stop that. Paper mache seems to always reject you, Paradon. You should start selling these online. They're really great. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, yeah, nah. <laughs> One day. But yeah, go see Dog outside for some direct news to Space Kid at the place. Okay. This has been a very interesting first episode. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. <laughs> I'm honestly. I'm completely perplexed by this game. I can't even talk. That's just how much this game just blows my mind, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to think of it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode here. And in the next episode, we'll go get some directory dues from Doug and see what we're supposed to do. We'll give this a couple more episodes to see if I can figure it out because I really can't just based off this one episode. So I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!